Hi guys, this is Rahul here from myview.rahulnevi.net, which is my blog. So in this screencast, we'll be continuing from the previous section where we have uh, uh, installed Visual Studio Code and set up the working bench um, as our working environment for uh, developing any web application right from the beginning, right? So uh, before getting started with Angular 2, there is a quick setup guide from Angular team itself, right? So you can uh, follow this URL over here and um, you can just go through this and uh, do this uh, quickly i mean uh, the all the prerequisites we have uh, seen earlier so this is nothing but the same so these things which we have which uh, these things we have already done right so i'm just going to skip these things and uh, directly move to the angular 2 settings which needs to be uh, done over here so obviously it starts with uh, angular 2 quick start is like uh, your uh, working directory so here is my working directory is like angular to set up right because i am doing this is the first setup over here so this is the fact like so angular to setup will be my first thing and uh, underneath of this i will be doing all this uh, package installation and everything so there are certain prerequisites for uh, running angular and uh, there are a couple of files which needs to be uh, there in the editor itself uh, to get started with angular 2 development right so i'll be explaining all these files uh, right from the beginning right from the scratch uh, in the coming screencast or you can just go through this document here it is pretty well explained like uh, what means what like uh, which files means what so this is the fact uh, you can go through that and you can do it uh, uh, quickly on your own but however let me display the thing like how to get started like uh, so very first thing is here is the working app first of all uh, which is uh, done correctly and everything is working over here if i uh, simply run this then it will um, run this quickly and uh, it will simply launch the application so let me just show you that uh, we'll be uh, building the same around that so here it is launching so here it comes as my first angular 2 app so that's okay so let me close this and set down this debugger and <clears throat> now let's do it from a scratch now code will be launched in this angular 2 setup folder over here so here so here everything needs to be done right from the scratch right so let me have one folder for app and um, then let me have one folder uh, so here uh, I'll be doing something like uh, okay let's get started from the scratch so this thing will come later so the very first thing is like our config sections like so this is my package start json json file so let's create this file and just paste it here by clicking on this clipboard icon over here close this now similarly i would be needing ds config make sure that uh, whatever name you are typing is correct and everything is uh, as per naming convention mentioned over here otherwise your app won't work right it will give you error or uh, even the task error or the build error itself here itself now let's close this as well and um, let's copy this typing start chase on now here uh, i just need to copy this one more is saying system configuration now all right so this is done now that next step says here i have jotted down every step so first step is like copy all config files from angular side which is this one which we have done currently then set up launch settings from the debugger option so launch setting means uh when you click over here in debugger file you need to set up uh, uh, some default setting for your uh, 
uh, code right so here you can click on this gear icon and you can say this uh, say this like node chase is your default thing like so now this is your default launch settings so just close this file go to this workspace and close this as well just maximize this now the next step comes is then update task.json so here i don't have task.json so what i can do here is either i will go to here and say this control shift p or command palette directly from here and let's say this task configuration right so i can just click on this and i will say that i will be needing this type script ts config json file so it will pick all the settings from here and since i won't be needing this uh, arguments as in it has to be developed because it has to run all the files so uh, it doesn't need any arguments over here now this is done so this launch settings and task.json will uh, be part of .vs code that will be sitting over here now apart from this uh, once these things are done so then i need to do npm install right so if you see this site over here here it says this you need to do this npm install so what this will do it will install all the packages uh, over here all the node modules over here so this will create one new folder with say node modules and whatever the packages and dependencies are listed over here in this configurations files so it will pull directly from the cloud itself uh, let's in npm install and then just click ok this will take some time till that time i will be pausing my video now once this is installed successfully you can see this this tree, tree kind of a structure has uh, come right so this indicates like every package has been installed correctly you can see one folder over here saying this node module and all the dependent packages have been installed correctly so the one which i'm interested in is looking for the light server whether it has been pulled or not so this is sorted list so you can see here is that light server is also here so uh, sometimes it happens like uh, when you are installing this uh, npm install this light server is not getting pulled so if this is not coming over here then you just do one more step saying that run npm install globally this light server right so minus g light server so this will install so this is nothing but your uh, a launch setting which is having this uh, as a backend server for running your app right so now uh, next step comes is create the app folder and paste all the components from the that angular site itself right so uh, let me collapse all and um, here let's create one app folder and inside this app folder let's close this file and inside this app folder i will be creating this component that app component of ts don't worry about this like all these components i'll be explaining in that getting started with angular 2 modules from the next screencast so here i'll be creating a new file saying this app component dot ts and just copy this code to the clipboard and paste it over here now close this guy as well then come to the step three which says you need to create this main.ts and a wrap folder itself so this will be the bootstrapper for your for your application so everything looks like going fine and I would be needing this index file right to launch this app so here itself i will create one file saying this index.html now it came uh, here in this app component let's say uh, 
that's okay my first angular 2 app looks good right so i would rather say movie review app i'll try to create a case study around this movie review itself my usual case study and uh, once all these components are done then it's time to uh, it's time to compile the things like so here uh, it says like um, one more thing is that uh, I need to specify this launch settings. So here in the launch settings, when you see this, there is a program settings over here. So here I need to tell uh, my node server. So under this node modules, I am having this. Light server, light server, this is the one. So I just need to specify the path till bin so that it will execute this utility. Just copy this guy because I would be needing this. all right now this is done now i'm good to go so here i will click on Control shift p and um, run task runner so here you can see the option run task task and here it will give this tsc tsc is that uh, uh, command prompt for typescript to compile everything into the corresponding javascript just click enter over here so you can see in the task bar it is compiling and it created everything so now collapse all it has given me the javascript files also so if you see here this main js and all has been created over here right so with luck just do control f5 and it will launch the browser and here it goes like my first angular 2 movie review app i hope you have enjoyed this video so in this section we have seen like how to get started with angular 2 settings with visual studio code in the coming screencast we will be seeing this uh, how to get started with angular 2 right from the beginning like uh, starting from the basics like what are directives uh, changes uh, from uh, usual angular app right and then a structural directives services components understanding all the decorator species like so uh, from the next section we'll be jumping on the basics of angular 2 i hope you have enjoyed this video so till then stay tuned goodbye